Welcome to the Royce Touch YouTube show. Uh -huh. I do all beauty related tutorials. Uh -huh. But hold up, wait, because I do vlogs too. Hurry oh, up and subscribe. What? Don't miss out, boo. My channel gonna be popping and I know you can tell. So get instant notifications by tapping the bell. I appreciate the support being totally honest. So lastly, don't forget yeah. to press like and leave me some comments. Hey, uh -huh. hey, 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 uh -huh. hey. Don't forget to press like and leave me some comments. <laughs> All right, guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's the one and only Royce Touch. You guys already know what it is, and for those who don't, I am Royce Touch. This is my channel where I do all things beauty related and so forth. Today, I have Deja. She's natural, as you can see, 100% natural. We're gonna give her a nice pixie cut using Harlem 125, 27 piece, or 28 or 29 piece. I forgot, but we are using the short pieces to create this pixie cut so stay tuned <laughs> So right now I'm just taking um, a few pieces of braiding hair and I'm braiding Deja's hair in a beehive which is round and around and around and around until I can't braid anymore. I know this look a little tight but it's really not. So do not come for me in the comments. <laughs> So I'm done braiding Deja's hair in a beehive. I'm just showing you guys left to right and the top and what it looks like. And then we're going to take the back hairs and spray some free spray on it just to um, get a cleaner finish for the very back because it's really important. Um, we're doing a stocking cap weave so you don't want none of her natural hair sticking out. That looks really tacky. Plus this is a short pixie cut look. This is silky hair that you're about to see on top of her head. So... We can't have that sticking out. It comes with a shower cap and a stocking cap. The shower cap is used when you're making a removable wig. Well, we're not making that, so I'm only going to use the stocking cap. 
I do notice that a lot of people just put the stocking cap and start to glue, but no. I use these heavy duty, durable wrap strips, black wrap strips. It will protect the hair from the glue. I put these wrap strips, I wrap her entire head, and then I put her stocking cap on. Sometimes I use two stocking caps and sometimes I use one. Today I'm using one. It doesn't really make a huge difference because you got the paper underneath, but you know, it all depends. But today I used one. Also, cut the strips how you need to cut the strips. You don't have to use one whole strip and try to wrap the entire head. Uh, cut what you need. Use what you need. I am big on using products in moderation. I don't like wasting products and you know things like that. So cut what you need. You don't need 10 strips to wrap her head. You probably just need two. Now right here, this step is important. Make sure that the stocking cap covers her entire nape. Then you're gonna take the glue and you're gonna put some glue on the very edge of that um, wrap strip and bring the cap back down. This part is important because it'll help keep the uh, stocking cap and just the whole style in place and intact for a while. And you know, you we're gonna have that illusion that the back is, you know, real. So we want to have the back, the foundation of the back, as perfect as possible. So I'm gonna use some glue and I'm gonna use some free spray and my blow dryer to get this part done. And that's about it. So you're gonna measure your first strip. And you want it to be at the very, very middle of the back of her neck. So cut the uh, size that you pick, put your glue, and just paste it on, just like how you see me doing it. And go ahead and measure the next, the next track. Some people like to glue this, um, put the glue on the stocking cap before they put the tracks. I like to put the glue on my tracks. But sometimes, like in the very, very back, I do this. I do it this way, in the very back. Kind of cuts down some time when you put the glue already. But I just like the, the preciseness of put, um, putting the glue on the track and then placing it where I want it to be. And plus it's just less mess and stuff like that. So that's why I do it that way. But right now, I'm doing it this way. Well, how many do they hook that they got to tell them that it's Alright, so from here, you're going to kind of, you know, uh, use your best judgment and kind of imagine how you want the back to look, how you want to shape it up. You know, it depends on how wide their neck is, how slim their neck is. So that's all I'm showing you right here. After <laughs> going side to side, you're going to then fill in the crown area side to side, left to right, left to right, but you're going to be uh, gluing the track coming forward on the forehead. <laughs> You're going to continue going left and right, coming towards the front, and then when you reach the very top, you're going to start going in circles, and you're going to go in circles until the circle is no longer apparent, all right? Uh, the 27, 28, and 29 piece comes with a closure, so you can stop while the hole is about this big. Well, a little smaller than this, but you can stop. If not, and you want to make your own like I do, you're just going to keep on going around and around in a circle until you cannot go anymore.
Okay, so now it's time for my favorite part. You're going to comb all the hair down. Make sure all the hairs are laying evenly and together. You want to protect your customer's clothes because hair can be itchy or it is itchy. Um, yeah, tighten up that cape. So this is where we do a lot of detail. You're going to get a razor comb. This is a razor comb. It comes with two blades. It's double-sided. It has a wide, wide side and has a slim side. You want to use the slim side for uh, more detailed detail work. And that's the side I'm using. We want to shave it down. We want to shave it down carefully, though. It's easy to chop a hole in it, so you have to take your time. After every single time you cut down with the razor, make sure you comb the hair down. Make sure you look for gaps and patches and spaces and things like that for you to blend in. Because this is the time uh, where you use your razor to blend in everything and to create draft lines. It's what I call draft lines. Like a, like a rough cut. Like the cut before the real cut. Like you just... Uh, how do I say it? You're, you're, you're preparing to cut it perfect but you're just doing a rough draft right now and then you'll go back in and detail up everything even more and just fix up everything even more put the finishing touches on it so like in the back i like to you know eliminate some of that weight just pull it together i want to eliminate some weight and uh create like keep those layers and create some layers back there so when she moves her hair back and forth she can get like a different type of look every time you see how i comb it out so pretty much what i'm doing here is i'm i'm combing all the hair out the way forward and i'm going to create a guide for where i want um the part that I'm going to line up on the side, both her sides, I'm basically creating a guide for that and um, how much of the bang that she wants in the front or how much hair she wants in the front. So again, this is a double-sided razor. You can buy the blades separately so that you can always change them. It has a wide side and a slim side, teeth-wise, I'm talking about. And these are like $1.99 in the beauty supply store. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the line for her sides using my razor because um, it just gives you a thin line uh, more natural as opposed to using scissors it's going to be blunt um, or trimmers it's going to be blunt so what i do is i'll i'll create this outline with my razor and then i'll clean it up with a scissor or i'll clean it up with a trimmer uh, with a liner Um, nah, you can't say, nobody's better. 
They both, you know. They, they part, yeah, they play like all But I honestly, believe, I would honestly believe Mike Epps is his cousin, though. Oh, uh, David? Because after this movie, you don't really, Chris Rock, he has a real break. You mean Chris Tucker? He has all about the uh, money talks. guys for watching i hope you guys like this if you do press like subscribe comment and share i'm out hmm? i love them i don't have to take work seriously right that's all i'm doing yeah. guys.